A person that studies business studies would really be someone who's passionate, interested in and, and loves investigating and looking at how businesses operate within our society. Career paths are wide and varied, but so too are your options for tertiary study after school. You could be working in a career in marketing or advertising would be one. Certainly in accountancy and finance would be another. But there's a whole range of areas including recruitment and human resources, managing your own small business itself, perhaps in retail even. It's full on, there's a lot of work, but it's very rewarding. You need to be able to revise your syllabus and you need to add examples into your writing. For those who may be interested in one day running or owning or working in their own business, the preliminary course will be really, really exciting and very, very practical. You get to learn about how to establish a business, how to develop business plans and particularly how a small business functions and understanding the important role that marketing, finance, human resources and operations plays in that. One of the key assessment tasks is a small business study. The students in Year 11 develop a research plan into looking into an existing small business so that they can apply all that they've learnt throughout the course to a real and actual business. It was very interactive and we got to actually do like the skills that we were learning about so we marketed a product to the class. Business studies is for people who are really interested in and passionate about and fascinated by what's going on in the world of business. The preliminary course is very much focused on small business and how small businesses operate and how small business owners and managers called entrepreneurs are focused on how to make their business successful. In the HSC course, the focus turns global and we look at the impact of marketing, finance, operations and human resources on a business that may be based in Australia but whose customers are overseas. In the HSC course, we look at the four business functions, marketing, operations, finance and human resources. But we look at these functions in the context of global businesses and we look at Australian businesses and global businesses that have to focus on these four key business functions while keeping in mind that they operate in a global and globalised world. One of the other important aspects of the course that we focus on is the importance of being corporately socially responsible and the important decisions that businesses make to ensure that they are acting ethically and responsibly, protecting people and the planet as much as their own bottom line. Students often ask, do I need to be good at maths to do business studies? And the answer to that is, you need to be competent with basic mathematical skills, addition and subtraction, multiplication, percentages. We use this clearly in the section of finance when we look at revenue statements and balance sheets. You don't need advanced mathematical skills to survive in business, but you do need to be able to do some calculations and apply those to what you are proposing. Some of the key skills that you need to do well in business are, are certainly in terms of your written communication, being able to plan and to develop short and extended responses, particularly under exam settings. One of the key skills you also learn is how to write business reports, and this is very particular to our subject. Students who do well in business studies are particularly interested in what's happening in the business world around them. They'll be looking at websites and newspapers to see what's happening in the business news sections and also in the general news so that they can apply what they're learning in class to what's happening in the real world. Um, my favourite topic would be marketing for sure. Just knowing how much is put into promoting a product and the amount of effort that's put into businesses for a consumer to notice their brand. Dedication for sure, number one, I think dedication. Um, number two, just being able to pull some time out of your day to research um, modern contemporary articles and case studies. Specialised formats in writing, being able to learn how to interpret data outside. 